Some two million workers in the UK went on strike today, closing down approximately 60% of the schools in England and most schools in Wales, Scotland, and Northern Ireland. Organizers say it could be one of the largest nationwide shutdowns since the 1926 general strike halted the UK. Zoe Sullivan was in London and files this report. <laughs> Public sector workers from around 30 different unions took to the streets to show their opposition to changes to the civil servant's pension system proposed by the Conservative government. Prime Minister David Cameron has called for later retirement, increased contributions, and lower pension rates. Carol Smith, a midwife for the past 30 years with the National Health Service, told FSRN how the pension changes would affect her. Um, well, if the, if the plan goes through, obviously I'll be working for longer, so um, my retirement age has increased, and uh, my contributions will increase per month, and uh, my total net pension will decrease. So um, I am on my own, so I have to support myself. I probably won't qualify for any state benefits. So um, you, you know, for, for me I, personally, it could have quite a great impact on uh, my retirement. Facing a severe budget shortfall, Cameron has been calling for austerity measures that have provoked other demonstrations. Last winter, university students disrupted London because of substantial hikes in tuition fees. Some attribute the recent London riots to tensions related to chronic poverty and unemployment. Kathy Bradley, who works at the University of London, says the government's proposals will be detrimental to the country. I think that we are probably going the way of America. And that's what we're really scared of, to be honest. You know, where you have to pay for your health care and your education, and we're losing all the public services we fought for after the war. Yeah, which is really sad day, I think. Negotiations between trade union representatives and government officials have been going on for several months. Due to lack of progress, the unions called the general strike. Which administration members are criticizing as irresponsible while negotiations are ongoing. Zoe Sullivan, FSRN, London.